Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and we are here for more Minecraft. Now I'm going to do something a little special this time. As you can see, I've got a hardcore world ready to go. It is called Mo Rocco because I have Mo Creatures installed on this one. And I'm also using a texture pack, so this is going to be pretty crazy uh, in terms of new stuff to see. Here is a seed that I'm using that uh, supposedly has a village very close to spawn. And there might be a jungle there, I think, too. But it should have some good supplies for me. I'm, I'm using that seed to kind of balance out the fact that Mo Creatures has so many more ways for me to die in it. So without further ado, let's create this world. And we're going to see how long I can survive. And hopefully get some pets and do all the crazy Mo Creature stuff. So I think I'm going to try to look for that village first off if I don't die first. And that is going to be where I'm going to set up my base. And we're going to try to survive and just see how long we can get into the game or how far so I've got my normal skin on here and I have nothing but we're gonna head down here and hopefully avoid oh well, that was stupid see now <laughs> I uh, I gotta get used to playing in this difficulty because any wrong fall could actually kill me so I might not survive very long the goal is to beat the game but I don't know about that happening I think the village is supposed to be around here somewhere. So we're going to have a look-see. This texture pack is painterly, and it's a custom one that I, I chose all the little stuff for. And I like the kind of darker uh, look of painterly. These are some death cap mushrooms, but in this they're just the, the uh, brown mushrooms. I'm going to grab a few just so we have some stuff. Uh, I'm normally able to record on normal, but render distance, but because I am so paranoid ooh, cherries the apples have been replaced with cherries in this one uh, because I'm so paranoid that I'm going to get into a situation where I'm going to die, and I'm recording which will kind of lag it a little I want to uh, <clears throat> make sure that I have enough you know, time to react to things, so I'm keeping it on normal render distance for now. I could always turn it up if there's something that we need to look at that's bigger I'm going to grab some wood before I head over to the village now the only thing <clears throat> I'm worried about with the village is that zombie sieges could probably destroy me. Much less, I mean, there's ogres and stuff that I should probably be worrying about more anyways. But, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna hopefully be able to fight off anything here. I gotta start making some tools, but I think they said the village is out in the desert here somewhere. So let's look. So now this is probably where I should turn my render distance up. I see sheep. I see... Skies are blue. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> now you're going to notice the villagers here are a little different. In Painterly, you're able to customize what each villager looks like. So I've made the farmers into cow people. Uh, you can see the butcher over there is a pig man. There's the librarian is a sheep person. I figured like an animal village would be kind of funny for Mo Creature. So, alright. Now here, I'm going to grab some of this delicious, delicious corn, which I've changed the wheat to. <laughs> so I figured it's a little more interesting to just switch some of this stuff up so it looks a little cooler. Ooh, that wasn't fully grown, was it? i got to find the ones that have the corn. Is that? Yep, that's fully grown. And then I'm going to try to plant some of this corn again. Just basically raiding this village right now until I can uh, get enough stuff on my own. But the big thing in hardcore is that I can die from starvation because it's hard mode so I gotta be careful with my health and I also should be looking around because there could be dangerous animals spawning Mo Creatures has a lot of oh, I don't have a hoe so I can't do that Mo Creatures has a lot of uh, stuff like lions and giant tigers and stuff like that that could probably kill me very easily there is oh there's the blacksmith if you look, the blacksmith is actually a goblin. I made him, so he's kind of like the outsider at this village, but he knows how to uh, how to make the good stuff. That cow just like went over a roof. So we should probably try to get inside here pretty soon, because <laughs> it's a fiddler on the roof. Um, I'm worried about the sun going down. There's a lot of sheep. There's the priest. Does he have a creeper on his back? He's the temple of the creeper, I guess. But the sheep and the librarian are priests. There should be, just the normal villagers should be pigmen, but I haven't seen any normal villagers so far. They've all been the special ones. Now, where the heck is the blacksmith? I need to find his stuff. There it is. 
Okay. Because we need to loot his stuff if we're going to survive. <laughs> he should have a chest in here. Bingo, there we go. So I've got nine diamonds, two iron chest plates, and some saplings. Which is pretty good. I'm going to put this on right now. It's my iron armor. And we need to build some iron stuff. Or some uh, diamond tools. I'm going to build a sword. And I don't know what else it because I only have nine. And this might be the only nine that I'm going to have in this game. So I think we should make our home in here. Now, this is the priest's tower thing. But I think this might be the safest from stuff. I mean, wood could burn in those houses and zombies could break in, you know. So maybe I'm going to set up shop up here. I probably should do it in one of these little alcoves. Because there are wraiths in this game which will rape me if they get close. <laughs> Alright, so the diamonds... Now, it doesn't really matter if I leave stuff around, you know, because if I die, it, I'm dead anyways, you know. So let's make a crafting table. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff you don't have to, like, consider. Like, I don't really need to worry about spawn in here because, I mean, there is no spawn anymore. If I die, this world gets deleted. So I'm going to make a diamond sword because I know that's important. Now I have seven diamonds left. I could make some pants, but I don't know if that would be the best use of my diamonds. So I think we should make a diamond pick. That would probably be one of the more useful things to use it for. And then we have four diamonds left. Maybe an a uh, I could make diamond shoes. Let's do that, because hopefully these will last me long enough where I'm not going to need to build anything else. We'll see. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are screaming at me right now for using my diamonds poorly but all right so we have corn which means we can make delicious bread <laughs> which is actually <laughs> like a pile of corn I'm gonna actually save some of this though because I want us to try to lure in animals all right and we all have also have an apple which is a cherry so I think we're doing good so far I'm gonna make some normal picks here in a second I just need to get some stone how are we doing on time? It's still daylight out. One of the things I want to do, because I don't see any sheep around, I'm going to steal these guys. These uh, wool up here and make a bed. So that I sleeping at night is going to be very important. Otherwise, there's going to be so many monsters around here. I know, I'm, just, I'm sorry I'm messing up your village, buddy, but it's necessary for me to survive. I've just kind of come in and taken over this... Poor little animal guy's village. I really hope there's another wool around here somewhere. There's got to be another light, right? I see more corn. Oh no, if there's only two, I'm going to have to go look for a sheep. And I should probably hurry and do that before it gets too bad, too uh, crazy out here. Alright, so we're going to go kill some pigs while we're out here. Don't want to waste my diamond sword too much. What is that? Oh, there's a snow leopard. You can kind of see that off in the distance. Grab some rupees. Experience our rupees in this one. I kind of made a uh, a bit of a video game theme with some of this. Hey, let's not waste that. Okay, now you're going to come out and be killed. Alright, let's look out because that snow leopard. He looks young, but he could come after me. I'm not sure. Come here, pig. Oh, the snow leopard's killing that duck. I think it's too big to be a cub, so it's probably big enough to attack me. That is one thing that I should probably try to kill some of these cats while I'm out here. There's a pig on a tree. Ooh, chicken. Because the cats will give me the big cat claws that I need to actually tame cats. Is he stuck? I'm going to take him down while he's stuck if I can. Sorry, buddy. There we go, big cat claws. Now those are going to be used to uh, tame cats. There's a bear, too. I'm not going to mess with the bear. Because the bear won't attack me unless I attack it, I think. And I don't know if they have anything useful on them. So we are going to go back to the village. We need to find some sheep. There we go. Perfect. Alright. If we can hurry up and get these guys. i got to be careful because I don't usually pay attention to my food all that much when I'm playing. I wish I had some iron. Because uh, I'm going to have to kill these sheep get their wool. Oh, sorry little guys. Oh, I'm glad that I avoided that because that is a stingray, I think. 
and he's coming after me. <laughs> yeah. There's mana rays and stingrays, but the stingrays will actually attack you, I think. And I think they can poison you, so I gotta be careful. So I didn't even think I forgot about the water mobs. There's shark, you can see another thing over there. It's probably either a manta or a stingray. They're hiding in the sand there, which is really cool. But yeah, there's sharks and dolphin and fish. There's little fish that should be around here and piranha. I'm just gonna grab some wool while I can here. There's some mushrooms. Okay. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. I gotta make sure I don't lose my way, but I think the village is around like 300, 300. But mushrooms are gonna be useful to make giant mushrooms. Because that could be a good food source. I just need some bones here. The sound is turned down a little low, but hopefully I can still hear if a cat or something is sneaking up on me. You'll notice the birch trees are Tibetan uh, cherry tree wood. I thought that was kind of cool and would be better to build with, maybe, than uh, just the normal birch. And they look similar, other than being red, but I thought that would be cool to use. Not that I'm going to be building that much with wood, like, just straight wood, because uh, that's really not very uh, good with resources. You know, it's kind of wasteful to just use the wood. And I'm not worried about aesthetics. Now we really need to get back to the village because it's getting dark and an ogre could spawn. And ogres, there are three types of them, which we'll talk about when we see them, but ogres can uh, destroy blocks. Uh, originally when I started playing Minecraft like uh, a couple years ago, I put mo creatures on and I had like a, a tree house that I was in and it still wasn't high enough because an ogre, hello, an ogre was able to destroy the whole bottom of my tree house because I didn't build it high enough there. Now I need to put some lights in here just to be safe. I don't want anything spawning up here because that's not going to be good and the stuff's going to start spawning everywhere and I hope my villagers survive because zombies are going to be able to break down doors and I want this village to thrive. Even though, I mean, having the villagers here isn't going to be that big of a deal. Well, they actually are going to be able to help me make a golem, which is going to be really important. So let's quickly get in my creeper bed here. Put that down, please. There we go. And we'll take a nice snooze. And in the morning, let's see if anything still... Oop. Oh, no, that's not good. It pushed me out. All uh, right. Am I able to get down here? Uh, okay. Good. All right. Ooh, there's a lot of skeletons. Okay, so we want to try to pick up anything that they drop, if we can. You guys gonna drop any boners? There's an arrow. Sweet. Oh my god, no. 